morning. So I've just realized yesterday that this has had an IRS conversion on the rear end, which I should have known anyway. So I just want to video it. So, not sure how much you can see here, but let's have a look. Let's get right under it. So that bracket, let me try and get low down. There. Let's see if I can get a bit lower. Has been welded in, I think. You can see the welds anyway. Onto this swing arm. Let me just get. Where's the swing arm? So you can see the swing arm along here. There's the. Uh, what do they call it a swing axle? And I think to do that, it needs a certain type of gearbox so that this can fit. This whole section. Let's have a look at it on the other side. Oh. It's funny I didn't even oh, I don't even didn't even know. I should have known. I've been underneath it loads of times. Obviously it doesn't have the reduction boxes. Which I thought was just standard, but googling it, look, there's the swing axles. I think that's what they're called. Which obviously use these C V different type CV setup. I could be wrong mine, but, and I've heard that to do this conversion, you have to replace the nose cone on the gearbox. You have to have a pre-68 gearbox, either out of a, I think, a Beetle or a Type 3. You know, I don't really know here. I'm just guessing, so. Someone put a lot of money and time into doing this, and uh, so I'm learning all. Of, I'm going to learn exactly what's involved. In, uh, I think you have a special jig to set it all up, and it's got the adjustable spring plates. So let me just go look at it from another angle. Sorry, I'm lying on the floor. So if I lie underneath this way, lovely sunny July day. So there's the adjustable spring plates, which I'm also going to learn about. So yeah, see, swing arm. Let's go underneath it. Oh, looks pretty good and solid, mind. And oh, oh, there's that side and the setup, adjustable spring plates there as well. So someone put a lot of time into this, so I, I'm not really sure if they want better handling or if it, they want to lower it or raise it. Who knows? And. So one last thing is the spring plates. I uh, wanted to just get the gearbox number so I can see what year gearbox this is. See if it came out of a beetle or if they converted the existing gearbox. Who knows? Still learning. Right, let's have a look if we can get the gearbox. Number. I know there's a number here. I'm not sure what that. What's so upside down, aren't we? Twenty nine dash one. I did notice there was a number in here, but that might be a diff number. Let me try and re clean it and then read it. So let's get the light on it. Uh, one one three three zero oh, one one eight three F. So I'll look that up. 
but I don't think that's the actual gearbox. Let's get in there. Number. Ooh. Oh, can anyone see a gearbox number? Uh, I definitely cannot see one. I'm trying to remember what. It's probably the other side. That's my luck in it. Let's squash in. Uh, uh. Just squeezing along the floor. Uh, can't see a number on there either. You'd think I'd see the number, wouldn't you? There's underneath. There's the nose cone. Nope. Okay, I'm going to clean the gearbox down and try and find that number.